guys, Friday the 15th of May, day 54 of isolation. And today, you know what it would be? It would be assembly. Good morning, you know. Yep, Mr. Fleming's um, assembly will be on today. I'm not sure what we'll be doing, but I will just want to take a minute to think about the people in your household. And not only the people in your household, but your family and friends as well. So, how are you acting towards them? How, after it, all this is over, will they see you? How do they see you differently? Do you see them differently? How do you want to be seen? I know my daughter spent quite a lot of time with her friends on different apps and things, playing different games online, as well as obviously doing her homework. But in a way, she's missing other things. She's missing that actual contact with people. And she's being a little bit tetchy, a little bit rude. She's sort of not being herself towards myself or her mum. So I want you to have a think about how you're actually acting, how you're reacting to this, especially to the ones that you love around you. Are you treating them right? Are you behaving right? Are they behaving how you'd expect them to behave? Has there been little arguments? Now, in my house, there's been little arguments because I've told my daughter to get off her games. She's had a little bit of a strop and we've had a little bit of words and we've had to have little bits of calming down. Now, I've been acting a little bit differently because this is getting on my nerves. I'm used to seeing all you lot for a start and, and having the conversations with you and I'm, and I'm currently sat in a house with three people and two dogs. And that's pretty much all I've seen for the last eight weeks. Obviously I've been on FaceTime to my family and friends, but it's not the same. And I'm sure it's not the same for you. It's normal to be a little bit different. It's normal to not be yourself. But I'm just saying, have some consideration about that. Have some consideration about the people around you. Have some consideration that they're going through strange times as well. Um, I had to explain this to my daughter because she couldn't understand why I was being grumpy at times. I know what you're thinking, mistrusting is never grumpy. We need to be there for each other. We need to be friendly towards each other. You need to think about your actions and how they're being perceived. Think what you can do to set yourself some tasks to do. We've been doing the character education. Have a think about what tasks you would like to do each day and make sure you stick to them. If you stick to them, you start to get yourself in a little bit of a routine like you did at school and making sure you get through. If anybody needs anything from me, please get in touch, don't leave it. If you've got any questions or just want to chat or you've got a song request, go for it. That's, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm here to help anyone. You know how to contact me if you're from the school. Obviously, use my school uh, email address. If you're in my tutor group, respond to one of the homeworks I've set. Anyway, any way you want. I'm doing a song that I once did for a leaving assembly. It's by a band called Green Day. And now the turning point of folks again the road Kind of grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of all this test and don't ask why it's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end, that's right. I hope you have the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hang it on a shelf and in good health and in good time. For what it's worth, it was worth it all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you have the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you have the time of your life have a brilliant weekend, guys. Please look out for each other. Please get in touch if you want anything and stay safe. Hopefully see you soon.